Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showcasing the Precambrian creatures so at least I'm not gonna you know, showcase the static ones since these ones are easier to show showcase and there are lots of statics uh, and they are really that interesting I really don't like them myself that much because they're just well, placeable statics and there's not really much to them but uh, I mean they are cool they are cool regardless but I don't like them that much so I also don't think they're that interesting so I'm not gonna showcase them now if you do really wanna you know see them make, make sure to comment and everything you can ask me to do that if you really want to I guess I'll make a video on that too but for now I'm only gonna showcase the moving actual animals uh, that are shown in the pre camera and so without anything further to do let's begin so first up we have this guy Yorgia so Yorgia here is a little slab a little slab of blob like a looking like a trilobite but also it really isn't has some patterns on its back I guess it ate microbial matter and it looks like this you know, I, I guess they don't say much about it, so yeah, it looks like a little thingy. Uh, they don't have anything about it in the Leopedia, I would imagine, because there's nothing, you know, to nothing in like Google or anything to write about it. No studies about on this thing, because there's really not much to it that has been found in the fossil record. So let's see, Parent Karina. Oh yeah, the T-bone steak. That thing I really like, and it actually has some movement. It moves a little bit more, and it has like a little bone-shaped thing on its head. I don't know if that's really like a bone. Probably not a bone, but something like a uh, like marrow or maybe something like that. I would I wouldn't think that there are already bones at this stage. So let's see what he can do and what he is about. Pyron Karina here. Also has nothing to say about it. So microbial matter drops eggs, I guess, and it looks like a T-bone steak. Looks like a filter feeder. Looks like something that just eats off the ground. Seems like it actually does, because this is microbial mat, and it's literally snacking on it. So I'm thinking on making videos for each dimension. Uh, but you know, of course, I'm glad to that already. I told you that already. But also about the creatures. So. This is that it's gonna be different separate videos, one for the dimension and the biomes, and one for the creatures. Uh, let me just splash myself real quick since I can't see. And yeah, so this is little little Parvin Karina here. Now next up we have Eo Andromeda. This little guy, I I really like him. He's just a cool little guy. Looks like a little jellyfish. I don't know if it evolved into a jellyfish. Uh, still not sure, but I'm kind of just showing you the creatures. I'm not really, I'm no expert on all this, but hey, it's Eel Andromeda. Looks really cool, and just, let me just tell you something about it. So it eats fish food. Uh, it probably ate other creatures, uh, or not other the creatures, but dead creatures when they were already dead. Doesn't look like something that could hunt. Uh, there was actually nothing that would hunt in these in this period, but. This little thing, probably, let's say a Parvin Karina died, and started dissolving. This little thing just came by, just started slurping up all the nutrients and used it to grow, which is pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have Nimbia. Now this, this is the little thing we saw on Colonies last episode, our last video, and it looks like just some small amoeba looking jelly creature which lives in colonies seems like and they're just pretty cool little things so let me see if there's anything about them here nothing is said except they ate microbial matter uh they're they come from the cryogenium forgot to say that and they're pretty much just small little thingies that just i don't know what they do they're just there the pyron corona is also from the ediacaran and of course we checked out the nimbia so that guy too and next up we have next up we got the Kimberella. They also come from the Ediacaran. The you know latest, maybe like right before Cambrian. 
period. I arrived. We have these sluggy little guys that just look like slugs. Uh, I can talk about them more since, since you know, it kind of represent a slug. It looks that around them, they have little lawnmower-like <laughs> looking slug bottom that just, you know, helps them drag around the sea floor. And they have that little tentacle with those eye-looking things. I don't know if they're eyes or if there's some sort of tentacles for detecting, uh, you know, electro electric waves and stuff like that. Probably the latter, since eyes, I don't think, were still developed back then. So, yeah, pretty cool little slugs. They ate microbial matter. Most of the things they that because, you know, there were no predators, so... You know, what would you feast on if you were a predator? Look at this, ocean is scarce. Like, at most you would eat these little plants, and that's it. Just that. Now, the Ediacra! Now this I'm more than certain, even though I haven't checked, it just would make sense that it is a precursor to the jellyfish. As well as another creature that we're gonna see soon. Uh, so, this thingy, let's see what it has to say. They lived in the Cambrian, what? Oh, they're really late developed. Precambrian to Cambrian, so they're like really at the end of the Iliacra. Um, yeah, it would, it would make sense, honestly. And if they lived through the Cambrian, which looks like they did, they probably did evolve also into jellyfish. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty interesting to, to look at. Uh, look at Nidaria. Yeah, yeah, they are jellyfish, yeah. <laughs> the Darians are literally jellyfish. Okay, well, that's pretty cool to know. I just learned myself something. And you also did too. And here we have Dickinsonia next up. This is just like the biggest Cambrian it creature. It ate everything off the ground. It ate my problem matter. It uh, probably had the most developed jaws, or not really jaws, so, well, however they ate. The most developed mouths and had the most diverse diet, so they could eat pretty much anything they could find, which was uh, microbes that were really abundant on the sea floor, as you can see. And that's why they became so big, because there was space, there was a reason for them to become big, since there's nothing to kill them, so why don't they? And my notifications is played, that doesn't matter though. Uh, well, that's pretty much all I can say about it, came from the, the Akron. Pretty cool little creature. Well, not, not exactly little, it's like a foot long, not a foot... A meter, almost a meter long. Next up, we got the Cyclomedusa. Now, Medusa, my language, and, and also Latin, means jellyfish. So, I would imagine that that thing is... Cnidaria, maybe? Oh, it's Animalia? Question mark. It's not Cnidaria. Tonian to Idiacron. Tonian is pre diacron so this is a really early developed creature. Uh, it doesn't look like it moves a lot. I thought that that thing actually swam, but it doesn't swim, no. It just sits on the ground, doesn't really move a lot. It barely has any movement, as you can see. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't know if that's a precursor to the jellyfish, more so maybe to the slugs. Something like of this sort, maybe Kimberella, but uh, doesn't seem to be a jellyfish, no, not at all. All I can say is, maybe it was an animal, maybe it was a static, mm, I think it was an animal, but I really don't have a way to prove that. It ate microbial matter, and it was maybe an animal, so it's probably an animal. Pretty cool thing. Looks nice, looks really cool, yeah. Looks like a, something jellyfish-like, but yeah. It says, it says Medusa, you know. It only makes sense to be a jellyfish, but I guess not. There's not much here, but hey, I'm gonna do my best to showcase everything. So here we got Sprigina. This guy is where it all started from. New Protorozoic Idiacron, ate microbial matter, and lived in mostly the shallow seas. Now this thing, it evolved into everything. It evolved into trilobites, it evolved into crustaceous, uh, crustaceans, it evolved into, I'm pretty sure, fish? Well, fish, well, picaya and stuff like that, worms as well, kinda. More, more 
no, probably not worms, but Pikaia for sure, which then turned into fish. And uh, also, I don't, I'm not sure, but maybe cephalopods as well. If not these guys, then probably Kimberwell. Uh, even though it looks like a slug, I would imagine that there's something coming out from it, because it's the first thing a creature at all that shows resemblance of tentacles. It, you know, it only makes sense. But hey, you never know. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm no scientist. I'm just theorizing. So if you want to know this, you know, scientifically, like, really, really uh, proven and also in detail, please go look it up. Don't listen to me. I'm just theorizing because it's interesting for me to do it and to, you know, have some more interesting content for you guys. But anyway, besides the point, beginner is the precursor to everything. It pretty much turns into everything and if, if it wasn't for this guy, Camberella, uh, Yulingia, Nikonsonia, it would have been... There wouldn't have been any Cambrian explosion. Look at him, it just looks like a trilobite already. Yeah, Lingia. Now, this guy, we talked about him already. It's a little cool looking worm. Got some open gel worms again. I don't know. This little guy is behaves like a worm, looks like a worm, moves like a worm, is painted in the color of a worm, even though that's just theory. Pretty much a worm, <laughs> if you wouldn't, you know, if you wasn't already informed of that fact. Now here we have Animalia, so it is a some sort of animal, don't really know what, but an animal. Ediacrum. Uh, yeah, really, not a lot of these creatures are actually classified as some, you know, animal group that we have today, but jellyfish at least does. This guy doesn't. It's Animalia. It's just an animal. I grab your matter is what it eats. And, or what it ate. It seems to live everywhere pretty much in, in the Didacron. You know. And yeah, that's where it lives, that's what it ate. And pretty cool little worm. I like the Lingia. But these are the primitive stocks, the primitive soup or brine or whatever, however you want to call it. By the way, shaders. Now work for some reason in the Precambrian, which is great. It looks sick. I love it. How I love how it works. I love how it looks. It's great. Yeah, this is pretty much everything I had to show for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this short video. Uh, it's gonna come out really short, but hey, it's some sort of content for you to watch, and it is a part of the series anyway, so I have to make it. Uh, next videos are gonna be longer since there are gonna be more creatures, but for this one, that was it. Also, Storm Adolites are pretty fucking cool. I love these guys. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, as always, don't forget to like, share the video with your friends, and subscribe if you want to, of course, support my channel. Make sure to do so with the notification bell on. And, as always, comment if you would like to share any thoughts, give me any suggestions, any criticism, anything you might want to say, add, or complain about even. I don't know. I don't care. I would love to respond and to hear your opinion. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.